Hello everyone! Today I will continue the series of videos about the lanthanide metals and will also talk about such metal as lanthanum. Lanthanum is located at the beginning of the lanthanide series of metals and from this metal the name was derived for the whole series of metals with similar properties, the so-called F-metals. Actually, the periodic system of chemical elements should look two times longer than it currently is. However, as it turns out, that is not the most compact way of showcasing elements, so the lanthanides and actinides were moved a bit down. Lanthanum is quite an active metal, and as a result, it is stored in kerosene or mineral oil. In air, lanthanum oxidizes and covers itself with a layer of oxide. This metal is quite expensive, 1 gram costs about $10. By its hardness, lanthanum resembles zinc, it's also quite durable. From the chemical viewpoint, lanthanum is second amount lanthanides based on its activity, just after europium. It reacts with water rather slowly, but in acetic acid it begins to react easily, forming hydrogen and the slurry of lanthanum hydroxide. By adding alkali, an interesting gelatinous compound is produced. The polyhydroxide of lanthanum, which won't decompose, being in temperature lower than 800 degrees Celsius, but it does dissolve in hydrochloric acid. From these compounds, a porous ceramic can be created which has a chance in the future to become a good catalyst in organic chemistry. Lanthanum reacts are very rapidly with hydrochloric acid, forming a transparent lanthanum chloride. This compound is sometimes used in aquariums to prevent the growth of algae. When pouring the sodium hydroxide alkali to lanthanum chloride, a lanthanum hydroxide is formed, from which by using heating a lanthanum oxide can be obtained. This oxide is used for the manufacture of optical glass with a low refractive index. Some of the lanthanum chemical properties are similar to calcium. Lanthanum hydroxide can dissolve in the descaling agent that contains Trilon B, which is a good complexing agent. If you heat lanthanum by using a gas burner, it will get covered with a layer of lanthanum oxide, however, won't even burn when ignited on wood. However, if being part of ferroserum, which is used for creating sparks in lighters, lanthanum is very useful for firing up sparks created by the friction on a solid object. Ferroserum contains about 25% of lanthanum. Today the most widespread use of lanthanum is the use of its compounds as an anode of rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries. For example, for the creation of a Toyota hybrid car that uses such batteries. 10 to 15 kg of lanthanum are required. Also, lanthanum sponges are used for hydrogen storage, and lanthanum fluoride is added to the z blend glass that is used for making fiber for the transmission of information. Who knows, it might be because of lanthanum that you are currently enjoying a high-speed broadband at your house. Now you know a little bit more about one of the other metals. If you would like to support the continuous production of science videos like this one, please support channel on Patreon, link in the video description. Subscribe to my channel and add likes to discover much more of new and interesting.